Hi, my name is uh, Ofer Vikus and I'm the CEO of Adura Clean Technologies. Adura develops a next generation technology platform for chemical recycling. Basically, we're taking material that is, uh, has a low value or um, no value at all, or sometimes it, sometimes it costs, and we turn it to a commodity product that could be sell out in the market. And we do it in a very different, unique way that allows us to save a lot of money uh, through the process. And we can operate also in environment where there is a little bit more of, uh, I'll say, contamination. So that helps to reduce the value of the feedstock, but increase the profit of the company. So we started with the upgrading of heavy uh, oil and heavy oil. Uh, it's a Canadian problem, but you can find it also in the in refineries where uh, this product is has its starting point of a low value. And the goal is really to increase its value as far as, far as you can before you start transporting into the refinery, transporting the material into the refineries. We also transform renewable oils into renewable uh, fuels and chemicals. And lastly, and probably the most hot topic uh, of today, we are able to take uh, waste plastics from all kinds and types and sources and turn it into an oil that uh, could later be used to produce new plastics. So in that, basically, we're answering to what the industry knows as a circularity, so circular economy. The technology is disruptive, and as such, it's not been used by anyone else. And uh, we, um, in the last 10 years, took our time to develop a range of uh, a patent portfolio through a strategy that we've developed internally, while we're looking what other people has been uh, has been doing. And uh, so, so far to this day, we have about seven patents overall. Uh, some of them are granted, some of them are pending and we intend to develop several more in the next two or three years. We are an IP-rich company. So the main difference is the fact that we are uh, using uh, water to do chemical deconstruction. So for most of the technologies that are doing mass scale process, let's say for plastic uh, recycling, for example, use heat to break the molecules. When you break things, you actually have to pay, it comes with penalties and now you have to fix things. And there's all kinds of sorts of issues that are associated with that. The chemolysis approach, basically doing chemical deconstruction, which end up with a, a material that is very unified, it needs less work, and the value of the product is higher, although the um, capital cost and the energy that you operate to make it is lower. So the third party validation was a promise we gave to investors as uh, when we started that uh, we'll have a third party independent audience that will look at uh, the science and will validate that the science uh, is in the making and actually occurring. And so we just we are just after this confirmation and it's been validated. And our next, uh, I guess, uh, stage will be to engage customers. And this is what we're doing now. Basically, we, we build this uh, marketing program where we have a, a small scale unit in the lab and we invite customers to see what is it we're doing because the technology is fairly new customers are interested not just to test it and and uh, validate that we're actually operating but to test it to their particular needs because uh, the technology can operate in a smaller scales in many cases we can uh, uh, stop uh, feedstock materials such as waste plastic to end into the land stream and we can do business to business operation as for our approach for uh, commercialization, when once we uh, engage with a customer and we invite them to, to see the small scale unit, such customers already think about integration of this uh, technology into his site. So he has the time by the time we are building the pilots and demonstration and commercial and semi-commercial demonstrations, the customer has the time to think adaptations. And that helps us in shortening the lead time from order to deliverable of that technology. Adorno is definitely a disruptive, unique technology that no one else has been doing. The question is, if can we deliver to our expectations? And I'm, I'm suggesting the investors to look at our news release to see that everything that we've been said that we've been, we will be doing, we have been delivered. So the next item for us to go is to engage customers and to run uh, some demonstrations from which we will move into uh, uh, commercial activity. And so I would say that we are just in the right time 
uh, where we are before these customers engagement, uh, which provide not just the technology validation, but also the commercial aspect of it, of doing business going forward. So uh, the timing for investors to look at what we've been doing is perfect from my perspective. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward for the future.